Hey guys, Alex here from Homeschool of Bel Air. On today's video, I'm actually gonna be sharing something a little bit different than I'm used to. We're actually heading over to the Great Homeschool Convention, which is being held at the Kalahari Resort here in Round Rock, Texas. It is way too close to home for us not to go, and it's been something that we've been wanting to do for a very long time. This is actually my fifth year homeschooling and we've never been to a convention, but it was just way too close to home. So we decided we're just gonna go ahead and pack up the kids. We're all gonna go and just check it out and experience the convention homeschool thing at least once. Um, so I am not going in expecting too much. I know that this is more of a faith-based um, convention. We are secular homeschoolers, but I do want to share my experience with you guys because I know that there's a lot of new homeschoolers out there that are having to homeschool by default but with, you know, COVID and everything happening. So I noticed that there's a lot more secular homeschoolers. So I want to be able to just share my experience with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start packing up my things. Um, we are going to be taking all the kids with us. I'm going to try to record as much as possible with you guys. And also hopefully, when we and I'm also going to try to share my experience with you guys as to how I felt, what we got, if we got anything, um, and just my overall experience. So stay tuned at the end of the video. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Okay. Oh, I don't know where Evelyn, let's go. What is that, an eraser? It says best ball. This is how big my brain is. <laughs> India! India. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Did you get my 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 Did you get my
Okay, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, it has overall been a very long day. Um, it started to rain when we were leaving the convention, but um, that was fine. It was pretty late in the evening. Anyways, we went to go have some dinner. Um, so I wanted to share um, my experience. And after this, I will share with you guys what I did end up getting, um, which wasn't a lot, but I mean, it was a, it was a decent day. I would definitely say that if you are a secular homeschooler, there is not going to be much for you there, especially if you're looking for a secular curriculum. Um, I would probably say the 98%, probably 99% of the curriculum there was faith-based. It was very not neutral and very not secular. So um, if it is something that you're planning on going to, just know that it's not going to, you're probably not going to find a lot of curriculum. Um, I would probably say that out of all the vendors, the only ones that were not faith-based was probably teaching textbooks. And um, I think that was it. I did speak to a lady named uh, Carla Cox. She just created a new curriculum. I'll show you guys that towards the end because um, I do want to share with you guys what I did end up purchasing. Um, from what I've noticed with her curriculum, and I forgot to actually ask her, while I was speaking to her, but from what I've noticed with her curriculum, it's a new, brand new um, reading curriculum called um, called Syllodot. Now with her, as far as I noticed, her curriculum is neutral. I don't know if it's secular, but it's definitely neutral from what I've experienced and what I saw. Um, but other than that, there was really nothing else. Um, I'm trying to think if, Oh, um, spelling, I would probably say the spelling you see, the Demi Learning booth, that was probably the other neutral or uh, secular, I don't know if it's considered secular booth that was there. That was the only two. And then we had this other one called the uh, Miller Pad and Paper Company, I think it was. They, um, that was an awesome booth. They just sold a lot of uh, notebooks and a bunch of workbooks and art supplies. I'll share with you guys what I got from that booth because I did spend a little bit of money at that booth. Um, but other than that, that was it. I was kind of hoping to see the firework press people there. And I believe they ended up canceling out of the Texas convention because I thought I had seen them on the roster for them having to be there, but they weren't. So I don't know what happened there. Um, but other than that, that was it guys. So that was my experience. Um, nothing negative. Everyone was super nice. All the vendors were super nice. And, um, it was just a shame that as secular homeschoolers or just even more neutral homeschoolers when it comes to certain curriculums that it's still very hard for us to find curriculum or for us to even just kind of fit in to the curriculum or to the homeschool communities because a lot of it is very faith-based and I feel like the companies, I don't want to say they need to do better, but I feel like with all the new homeschoolers that are coming out because of COVID, there are a lot of new homeschoolers that aren't necessarily faith-based that just want to homeschool. It's really hard for us to find really anything. So in that sense, it was kind of, eh, but I kind of knew, like I said, I kind of knew this going in. So I kind of, I didn't really go in with high hopes. Um, I had set a little side budget for um, purchasing stuff. So that was fine. Um, I probably, I would say spending wise, I didn't spend more than $200 at the convention. Um, yeah, definitely didn't spend more than $200. Now, if you are more of a faith-based um, homeschool, you're going to find tons of stuff. This, uh, the great homeschool convention, even if you don't care about listening to the speakers or doing the seminars and all that good stuff, just going to that first Thursday when they have that, um, I believe it's 5.30 to 8.30 that they have the free vendor hall. I recommend just going to that because you can find a lot of good stuff. Not only that, a lot of the companies package things together so you could actually buy the packages of certain, um, you know, science sets or history sets and things like that. Now, were they at a discounted price? I don't think so. I think the curriculum is basically the prices are pretty much set. So as far as that, I don't think I didn't notice a discount when it came to prices of stuff. But if you are looking for new curriculum, new up and coming vendors or companies it is a great experience because you do get to see a lot of new stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys what i did find and what i did purchase 
All right, guys, so these are all the things that I purchased at the homeschool convention. I'm gonna go ahead and start on this corner and share with you guys what I got from this booth. Okay, so my first purchase was from a company called Miller Pads and Paper. Now, this company here had a ton of great stuff. They had a bunch of art supplies, a bunch of very, um, almost like generic looking notebooks, composition books, just a ton of stuff. Um, I wish I had more time to really look in this booth. There was just a ton of people in that area. So it was really hard to just kind of get around. But this is the stuff that I did pick up at this booth here. So I went ahead and picked up this rainbow scratch art notes. And this is just that, some of that uh, black scratcher paper. And it came with a little stylus. It just fell out. Um, so I went ahead and picked this up. We needed something like this for an art project coming up soon. Um, another thing, Evelyn picked this up. This was 95 cents. And it's just like a little reading uh, passport. And um, I don't know why Evelyn picked it up, but she just kind of picked it out. So we went ahead and got that. Another thing we got at that booth was these charcoal uh, pencils. And um, these are the Pring brand. They were $2.75 each. And then another thing I was pretty excited about was this Timeline Notebook. Now this Timeline Notebook is printed on a super thick cardstock. This was $9.99. I almost considered picking up two of them, but I figure for our next school year for history, I really just want to work on a timeline and just kind of work on it together with the boys. So I went ahead and just got one. Um, so we got that. Um, another thing that I did pick up was just this notepad. Now, this notepad is also more of like a, um, a thinner construction, not construction paper, a thinner watercolor paper. But again, we go through, we do art so much that I just needed something for art. And um, this is the kind of stuff they sold at that booth. So it's just very genetic, no brand kind of um, notepads. Another thing that I picked up from that booth was construction paper. I really needed to replenish my construction paper and I was really excited to see this, which was only $1.95 per pack. Um, you can't pick the colors that come in each pack, but they had such a wonderful variety. I went ahead and picked up two of these. Um, another thing that I picked up at this booth was a couple of Usborne books. So I went ahead and got the Usborne Encyclopedia of World Religions. I also picked up the Usborne, Usborne Time Traveler. I also picked up the Usborne First Encyclopedia of Human Body and the Timeline of World History, which I've been wanting and I was pretty excited to find it. Now, the, the like I said, the books aren't priced super discounted. Um, I guess the, the retail price of this would be $19.99. They were uh, selling it for $18.99, so it's not much, but it was just kind of exciting to have everything in one place. So I, that's what I picked up from the Miller Pads and Paper Company. Okay, from another booth, which I believe is just called Learn to Play um, booth with Faith Bar, I went ahead and got some music um, technique books for drums. Um, I don't know if you guys know that how Evelyn was taking drum lessons. We're no longer taking music lessons, but I want to continue to teach the kids. Now, as far as the boys, I could easily teach them guitar and bass with drums. I'm almost going to have to teach myself and then teach her. So I went ahead and got... Um, all the musical techniques for the drums. So I went ahead and got that. And this whole this pack here was, I believe, sixty dollars or fifty nine ninety nine, something around, somewhere around there. So this is another thing that I did get from the convention. Now this I actually met and spent about forty minutes speaking to the author of this curriculum, Miss Carla Cox. She was such a sweet lady. We spoke for about forty minutes straight. And uh, she's the author of the new Scylla Dot reading program. She only has levels K through third right now out. She's working on level four and a level five, I believe, from what my understanding was when I was speaking to her. Um, now, this curriculum, she was giving it out for free, so it wasn't something that I purchased. She sells it for, I think, $50, or she sells the whole complete curriculum for $200, which is, I, like I said, kindergarten all the way to fifth grade level. If I'm correct, that is my understanding from what she was telling me. Um, which I believe is such a great deal. So now this is a brand new curriculum. Um, I believe it just came out last year, if I'm correct. And um, we got it for free. Now, I want to be able to use it with Evelyn. We'll probably move pretty quick from it. But um, it's super cute. Um, if you guys want to see more about this curriculum, please let me know. And I will try to share more um, about it. Now, my understanding is it does seem neutral or secular from what I've noticed. I haven't seen anything really faith-based when it comes to the, um, 
the stories or the words or sentences or anything in here. So in that sense, I would say that it's more of a neutral or secular reading curriculum for anybody that's interested. Um, I'll try to see if I can add the Dot website down at the link if you guys are interested to check it out. But like I said, if you guys are going to the convention, make sure you stop by the Dot um, booth because Miss Carla is giving out the level K for free. Last but not least, we stopped by the Y Games booth. The Y Games booth was actually towards the end of the convention. And I was pretty excited. They had a lot of just games, learning educational games, as well as just regular games. So I did pick up a few games. Um, the first one was Multiplication SWAT. I also picked up Money Bags. We picked up Sequence Numbers, which is more of an addition and subtraction um, sequence game. And then these I already opened, but um, we went ahead and picked up the Professor Noggin Human Body and the Professor Noggin Presidents of the United States um, card game. This one here was a discounted item. Um, yeah, so it was a discounted item and I was able to actually get this one for free if you spent a certain amount. And I can't remember if it was 70 or $75. It was something like that. So that is what I got at the convention. So as you guys can see, not a lot of curriculum, but again, we're secular. It was very hard when it came to that. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little um, experience and let me know if you guys have any comments or want to see anything more in depth. Thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you next time.